Hey guys! Okay, so we're gonna contour today. I finally have like a little place set up to do my makeup. It feels kind of weird, but it'll be cool. Um, we do have a visitor. If you can see, see the puppy. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Lexi. Lexi, you wanna go for a ride? <gasps> yeah, that's Lexi. That's the demon. Okay. So if you hear someone barking, you know it's her. Hey, Katie. Hey, Lisa. Um, JC. Hey, Becky is going to be joining us then. Um, whenever she gets, whenever she gets here, we'll just pop her on. We're gonna do a duo live. Okay, so, um, as I said in my post, we're going to contour, um, Christina, who I worked with at both Wegmans, hey Shauna, I worked with at both Wegmans and Truebridge, is a, she doesn't really, you know, she could use some tips, she said, so, I didn't have any ideas for the live today, so we're going to contour, hi Trista, and I don't remember if I said hi to you, Shauna, um, so yeah, we're going to contour, um, what we're going to do is, um, we'll do, I prefer to use powder, hi Melanie, to contour. I have oily skin, um, which is why I just, I prep my skin with a rose water toning, toning spritz, hey Dorothy, um, before I put my makeup on. So that's what that was. Um, but I, like I said, hey Luann, I like to use powder when I as my base. I use a lot of powder on my face. The reason for that is because, hey Amber, I have oily skin and the powder helps to absorb that as opposed to using like a cream or another or, or like a liquid on your face. Um, now if you have dry skin, hey Lindsay, you want to use like a cream or something like that because that will help add some moisture to your skin. And no matter what kind of skin you have, it's always a good idea to prime. You always want to prime. It's just like, I always say, it, it's just like priming your walls or, you know, priming something before you paint it. It helps to fill in little cracks, crevices, and stuff like that to make the actual paint look smooth. Primer for your face does the same thing for your makeup. You prime your face before you put your makeup on. It makes your pores appear smaller. If you, hey Debbie, if you have any, um, if you have any scars or anything like that, it can help to fill those in. And I have plenty of scars. <laughs> um, and then it can also help. It just helps the makeup actually stay on your skin a little bit better too. Um, so we're going to do one half of my face the way I prefer powder. And then for those of you that um, would want to see like a cream application, we'll do that. Because I have enough makeup that I can do it all. Okay. All right. So. Um, so. Use the toner, put on primer. Now the primer, you want to give it enough time to set in to kind of dry, not dry, but like do its thing. Hey, Rebecca. And we're going to use um, liquid foundation from Unique. Now I use a shade darker than what is really necessary for me and the reason for that is because if you go a shade darker it tends to help cover like dark spots like I have a lot of hyperpigmentation from from acne and stuff and a not really weird mole I want to get that removed but anyway um, so if you go a shade darker it can help do that and the contour people are like well if I go darker isn't it it's not gonna match yes it is because you're gonna contour hey Tammy on top and that will help blend everything in. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. So liquid foundation, you want to shake it. And this has, has a dropper. You don't need a lot. Now I put it on one of the silicone sponges and smear first. That's just my preference. Um, and I like to smear with the silicone sponge because to me, I feel like I don't use quite as much. Sorry, I'm using the phone as a mirror and it's not always the best idea. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll get, ooh, we'll get there. Beep, beep. If 
you've watched any of my lives before, you know I like to, and if you know me personally, you know I like to make a lot of noises. So I'm going to apologize because I know that it's weird. And I'm going to pop this pimple quick because I didn't notice that. Okay, and I just have a kabuki brush, which I actually used this brush for the first time over the weekend. No, it does not rub off. Hey! Hey, JC! Whoa, whoa! Why, won't, why isn't the thingy there for me to invite you? But no, Luann, this won't rub off on you. Well, okay. So, most makeup does rub off on your clothes. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do a full face today, but we're going to focus a little bit on contouring because that's what someone asked for. Hey, Ashley. All right, Luann. So all makeup, I'm not going to lie, pretty much every makeup out there is going to rub off a little bit. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, oh, you can't do it. Okay. I didn't know, like, JC, if you wanted to do, like, a dual live. But, yeah, we're going to do a full face. Um... Thank you, JC, for sharing. Okay, back to you, Luann. <laughs> when you use like a setting powder, setting spray, something to set your makeup, that can help it from rubbing off. Okay. Um, but there really isn't, um, I'll be perfectly blunt, there is not any makeup that will not rub off, unfortunately. Yes, and if everybody, if we can get woo, 50 shares, yeah, <laughs> it's foundation. You can put it everywhere. I even, hey, Elizabeth, I blend down onto my neck because you want, you want your entire face to be the same color. And if you put the foundation on your eyes, I mean, it creates foundation for your eyeshadow, it helps. Hey, Allison, it helps give something for the eyeshadow to actually stick to. Okay. Now, I prefer a light coverage. So, I'm not going to do another application of this, of the foundation. If you want heavier coverage, um, when you see, if you see in a review or anything, or if anyone says, sorry, my hair's a mess, I, I know. I fell asleep with it wet and was too lazy to do anything with it. Um, if you see something that a makeup, a foundation, or a concealer is buildable, what it means is if you layer it, it's buildable coverage. So you just have to add a little, hey, Heather, add a little bit more and that, you know, it'll help. All right. So now we're going to do a little color correcting. Let me find this brush should be okay. So this has a green in the center. I'm just going to use the green. over some of the red spots. Hey, Amanda. And I think that's really the only really red spot. And that's just, that's the pimple that I just popped. So that's why that's really red. Woo! But, okay. And I just keep the little thingy, the little cotton round that I used to rub my face with like with the toner and I just use that to kind of clean some of the stuff off the off the brushes as I go that's just personal preference y'all don't have to do that all right so we're gonna do concealer um for under your eyes hey Brittany you want to do um one shade at least one shade lighter than your skin tone And that is part of the contouring, actually. So that's part of that. And then if you use beauty blenders, you want them to be moist. <laughs> you want them to be damp. So what I did is probably about 15, 10, 15 minutes ago, um, I went in and I just submerged all of mine. I have like five or six of them in 
warm water. I squeezed them out, let them, you know, just kind of, and then I just let them soak it up and then squeezed all the water out and they've been sitting since then. So you don't need them to be dripping wet, but you do want them to be damp because that actually helps them from absorbing all your product because they are sponges. And you want to blend your concealer under your eyes onto your cheek because you essentially you want your under eyes to be the same color as your cheek right um, so if you blend it that will happen if you only apply your concealer to the underlies, like I have you know, like this line right there, it's not gonna blend because it's gonna be different, right? <laughs> it makes sense if you think about it. I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked that the dog is behaving herself right now. And I'm just this is a unique Touch Mineral Skin Perfecting Concealer. And I use the shade Velour, which is, hey cat, my skin is like a light medium. So that's usually what I go for. Okay, now. That's where I put the green stuff. So we're just gonna pat that in. All right, so we're gonna start with the powder contour because that's the easier of the, between using, at least I think so, my opinion. Um, for me, it's easier to use the powder than it is um, a cream, but that's also because I'm used to doing the powder. So what I have is, this is the Sculpting Trio from Unique, it just, you do it. We are just, we're, get, hi Gabriella. We are gonna do a full face, but we are focusing on contouring <laughs> um, because someone had asked for that. So we'll kind of, hey Judy, we'll decide what's going on with the eyes and stuff like that. You guys can help me pick that stuff um, when we get there. We're gonna do one half of my face powder and the other half we'll use cream to contour. Okay. So this is Sculpting Trio from Unique. This is a great product. It just, it makes, it gives you everything you need in one thing. Like you don't need to buy separate stuff. And there's a lot of different companies that they, they sell contour kits in both powder and cream. Um, I have a powder one, this one from Unique. And then I also have a cream one from uh, Bella Pierre. So there is a, every company out there. Contour is the new cool thing. So you can find them at all different price points. Okay, so this is just, it's an actual contour brush that I bought years and years ago at TJ Maxx. I've probably had it for about three to five years. I absolutely love it. I love this. I love the trio from, uh, from Unique. I have, I have other like contour and like kits and things like that, including um, other powder ones. Hey, Samantha, and the one from Unique is by far my favorite. Okay, so, and we're using like the dark brown. So that you want to put like under your cheek. So you want to start, hey, Rosalind, the tip of your ear. Do you see how that like goes down like that? That's like where you want to put it. And then where you stop on your face is the inside corner of your eye down. So for me, I'm stopping right about there. Okay? All right. And yes, I'm making it a little dark because remember, we're gonna put stuff on top of it. I haven't put on my setting powder, it, it, there's a lot of stuff that needs to go on top of this yet. So that's why it's a little dark. And trust me, it'll all blend. I promise. <laughs> all right. 
And then where you put it on the top of your head, like on your forehead, is where the sun would normally naturally hit your face. So for most people, that's like around this area. Got a little bit. Because if you're out in the sun, if you think about it, like right around, the, that's where it's going to hit your face. And then under your jawline. And I just start like under my ear and go up. And you want to go all the way up to your chin, okay? And a little trick for this is if you do a three, you draw a three, like that, that's, that's where your contour goes. Okay, so that's that. Now, part of the reason why we want to shade lighter under the eyes is because it helps, it works, <laughs> um, and because it's also, it, it kind of helps already, hey, Bobby, put a highlight under your eye. If you go on Pinterest or if you go on um, Instagram or wherever, if you even just Google search, um, like, where to contour, where to put everything, you'll see that they often have like a triangle underneath each eye. So we already did that with the concealer. So that concealer more or less did two things. Um, it helped conceal my dark circles. I do sell these, yes. <laughs> um, I do sell them. I can post a link to the website. You can message me with any questions. You also don't, I mean, uh, JC, don't yell at me for saying this, but you do not need to buy the products that I use. Um, part of the reason why I do this is because I just love makeup. Yes, I do sell unique products um, and I do use them and feature them in my videos, but I don't expect you to go out and buy everything the exact same that I have. Um, you can definitely, whatever your price point is, you can do you. You do you. Okay, so we did that. Um, I'll need this. Now I'm gonna use a blush next. Um, what blush do I wanna use? Well, we'll use that one on the cream side. <sighs> when you have like 50 blushes, it's really, really difficult. What color blush should I use? purple, <laughs> pink, red, orange. <laughs> um, how about this guy? If I can get it open, we'll be in business. Ah, how about that one? Oh, that looks scary, right? I don't think I've used this one before, but it's not scary. It's definitely not scary. If you have, if you buy like a lot of people, if you buy your makeup online, sometimes the pictures of it, when you get it, you're scared. It's, it's fine. You can fix it. So I have this guy. It's called Lollipop. I kind of like that. Probably why I bought it. So I'm just going to get very little. You probably can't even see it on the brush. Ooh. But you can see it on my face, right? So you just want to put that on the apples of your cheeks. And if you want extra color, you put on a little more. And if you make a mistake and you put on too much, we can fix that. That is really easy to fix. So this is just a pressed powder. Now this is velour, the same color that I put under my eyes. So we can, we can, we can fix this. We can blend it out. And that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm saying. Do you see how this kind of, we made it really dark and do you see how the blush kind of covered it up a little bit? We can use a, a tissue to help get some of it off too. But you can always fix it. There's. You don't need to, you know, wash your entire face. 
All right, so we'll fix that a little bit more later. Um, Luann, it, this blush is from a company, sorry, my light, <laughs> Shani, S-H-A-N-Y, if you can see it. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, and like I said, the color is Lollipop. Hey, Jody. All right, so I'm gonna leave all that there for now. Now we're gonna do the highlight. And I'm gonna use, this is a powder, the Touch A La Mode Powder Highlight from Unique. This is in the shade Iridescent. It comes in three different mediums. So powder, cream to powder, and cream. Um, so they have whatever would work best for your skin. Like I said at the beginning, if you have, um, if you have oily skin like I do, I prefer powder. Um, and then if you have dry skin, use cream because often that works a little bit nicer. Hey, Kayla. And then I just have this guy. Um, it helps get the powder off your brushes in between stuff. Again, from Amazon. I'm addicted to Amazon. I really am. Okay, so your highlight. That you want to go. Remember we put down here the contour, like the darker, and then here we put contour. We want to put a highlight right there like in between these two and then on the top of your like on top of your cheek like right here and right here okay now again remember I didn't put, I didn't set anything with powder like the the setting powder yet um so so we're good so that's pretty much this um the rest of it will will you know will do then but that's that's basically it it's not hard at all um but now we'll do cream contour on the other side and this is a contour kit that i got it's from bella pierre Whew. and you can see I haven't really, I only used it once actually. Like I said, I prefer powder. I got this in a subscription box that I get. So we're gonna apply this with our blending buds. And remember I said that you wanna use these when they're damp. And I'm just gonna use the same one that I used to apply the, the the concealer blonde moment okay so and you're going to place it the same spot so hey Kyla Now, one thing that I did notice with the cream, you don't necessarily need to use as much as the powder. Um, the cream is, to me, it's a little bit more pigmented. And you can use a brush. You don't have to use um, a blending bud. This is just my preference. Because you, I don't know if you guys can see, but I barely put any hair on it's already as dark as the powder side. And I went over that a couple times with product. Okay, now to highlight, um, we're going to use this guy right here, this really light one. So just like on the other side, I'm gonna put it right here. And then we'll put some right here. Now, um, some people and I have a giant nose, <laughs> so I contour my nose. 
Um, now I'm gonna use powder to do it only because that is my preference. Um, let's get some blush on the other side. We'll use the same color that I used on the other one. And this one I won't make look bad on purpose. <laughs> Sorry, I have OCD. I need to kind of put some stuff away <laughs> before I get more stuff out. All right. So, what, 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 what was? <laughs> Blush. I think, okay. So, we're gonna do eyebrows next. Um, and then, like, the contour is mostly done. All we have to do now is um, finish the face and then we'll we'll set everything and then after I if after I set again preference if something isn't quite the way I want like if I want my contour to show up a little bit more you can add more on top of your powder there see kind of, like this one if you were watching I really I really put the blush on that side. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do now also is I'm just gonna use some of the pressed powder to set the concealer under my eyes. Um, just using the pressed powder to set it, that can actually help it from creasing. Um, it, you know, so it won't crease as much. Okay, so what do you want to see? Oh, we'll do eyebrows next. We'll do eyebrows. Now, did y'all know you can contour your eyebrows? Yeah, pretty crazy, right? All right, so we're going to do that too. So I do my eyebrows like the cheater way, okay? And when you're picking an eyebrow pencil, the color, um, you don't necessarily want, like if you have black hair, you may not necessarily want black for your eyebrows because the, hey Crystal, I think I missed y'all and Mary and Zoe. Um, if you have black hair and you do black on your eyebrows, you, it might not look great. So. It's always a little bit better. Definitely want to match your hair. So I'm a natural brunette. You can see the roots. And then I lighten my hair. It's like 500 different shades of blonde. Um, so I actually, I have the blonde pencil from Unique. And it has like a little spoolie built into the end, which I love. So what you want to do is brush your hairs them roots I know I need to do them I need to do my roots I have to I don't know exactly what color I want to do my hair crystal hey Angela I am thinking I want to do like a like a dark like a denim blue but I'm not a hundred percent sure <laughs> all right so pencil like I said this is the cheater way so what I do is I just use the pencil draw a line along the top just a little bit ooh and if you mess anything up you can fix it trust me you can fix everything so a line above you want to exaggerate your arch a little bit and then just draw down okay now I'm gonna brush the hairs up and I've been using unique has a lash serum that is made to enhance um, your lashes and I've been putting it on my eyebrows too mostly because I have a scar through this one and I mean it has enhanced the hairs enough that it really you really can't see the scar there much anymore so I'm I'm all for it. Okay, so 
eyebrows, we're going to draw a line along the bottom. I need to tweeze my eyebrows. They're just a little messy, not much. Okay, so all I did was draw a line along the bottom. And then just use the pencil to fill in it a little bit. And then use the spoolie, because that helps to blend it a little. Okay. Now, I do not like the... This is personal preference. I don't like the overly perfect brows that are all over Instagram right now. I don't like the way that looks. That's just my personal preference. To me, it looks like they literally have a sticker on their face when they're... <laughs> They're like tattoo precise. Like I don't like the way that looks. So I didn't put my hair here. I didn't use any pencil in there. Um, you know, whatever was on the spoolie. Yes, thank you, Crystal. <laughs> whatever was on the spoolie from blending, that is enough to add a little bit of color there. Because my preference, you can do what you want to do, okay? So we're going to do the other one, the other one. And again, we're just going to draw a line along the top. Exaggerate your arch a little bit and then draw a line down. Hey, Beth. Crystal, how's your foot? I know you had posted that you, um, that it felt like your tendon was going to, like, break through your foot? Is it still yucky? Are you working? You better not be working. And draw a line underneath, and then I'm just going to fill in a little bit. And then again, use the spoolie to comb it out. And you can see it doesn't even look like, like you can still. <gasps> the salon. Well, I guess that's probably better than, than Wegmans. Um, at least you don't have to do both. That's good. All right. So now we're going to contour the brows. <laughs> yeah, you can contour the brows. Um. I don't know. Sorry guys. Um, what you want to do to contour your brows is, I'm thinking this one. No, I don't know. So I'm going to say this one's prob this one is probably darker than the other one. So you want to go a shade darker and to contour all you do, your arch, you just add a little bit of the darker color in your arch. And it's supposed to uh, create like a lift, lifting effect. I don't know, I just saw it on online. <laughs> All right, so I have, as I've said a million times, I have oily, ooh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we can use that. I have oily skin. So I am going, I set my brows with a gel. And this is Unique's brow gel. There are a bunch of different companies out there. Now this is a tinted gel. Um, this is blonde, it's the same tint as the pencil I used. There's also clear. Um, I'll actually, I'll use the clear, I have a clear. So we'll use that on the other one. Just so, just so you can see. There it is. You can see it just, it looks like mascara. And it's just like a, it, if you sweat a lot, like I do, um, it just helps to keep the pencil and everything actually on your brows and not smearing all over your face. All right, so remember I said if we made any mistakes, we can fix it what we're gonna do now. 
Um, I just use an angled brush and this is a foundation, like a cream foundation. And you just use it along your eyebrows and it helps to blend in if you made any boo-boos. can definitely tell this eyebrow I think is thicker than this one probably because of the scar but it's not as bad as it was I'm really impressed really really impressed with that lash serum um, from unique I've used other serums from other places um, and so far I've had really good results with the one from unique so I really like that Okay, so that's, we did, we did our brows pretty much now. Um, this is just highlighting stick. This is a little, sh a little shimmery. So I am just gonna put a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna, bl I'll blend it in, in a little, a little bit later. We'll worry about that then. All right, so now eyes. What, what do you want to see? <laughs> Um, this is what we'll do. We'll do green. My eyes are blue. Um, and according, really, a lot of those little chart thingies that you see, green isn't necessarily a color that you're supposed to use if you have blue eyes. But I love the way my eyes look when I have, when I wear green eyeshadow. So we're going to do that. We'll use that glitter. Oh, okay. So, um, I like, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like the crease first. Now, I was looking for ideas for makeup on Pinterest. And I saw, Kenny, you don't want to watch this. I'm putting on makeup. <laughs> um, I saw a thing that suggested that you use an eyeliner. Yes, I'm going to use the press sh shadows, but this is like an eyeliner. Now I saw a thingy. Now it is more of like a broad tip. I've had this for years, but basically it said in the thingy that if you do like a, make a hashtag, like a pound symbol, you can blend it out. So I'm just going to do kind of that, that <laughs> to mimic, mimic what it would be like if I could make a pound sign. <laughs> And I'm just going to use a blending brush. Sorry, I'm like knocking everything over. I'm not used to actually having a place to do my makeup. Um, I want a thinner blending brush than that. There we go. Ooh, this is my favorite blending brush. Okay. So I'm just using Unique's pressed powder powders. Um, they have 25 different colors. They are, oh, you got four more. Yeah. What colors did you get? I have 23 of the 25. Um, now this is a Z palette. I, you, I show it off <laughs> every time I use it. Um, Z palette is just, it's the brand. So the back of it, it's magnetic. So you can create your own palettes. These guys are in the metal pan and they just they just stick to the back um and then now if you would i got mine from amazon you can buy them at a bunch of different places um ulta carries them the names <laughs> i don't remember the names of most of them either um but the z palettes if you have um some of the pans the pressed powdered things they may be in a metal pan, but they might not necessarily be magnetic. Like, they may not stick to the magnet. So, I got my finger in the black stuff. Um, 
Ooh, I hit my camera. Ooh. So it, um, the Z palette actually comes with like little metal thingies and they're circles and um, squares so that you can put it on the back so that they'll, hey Cassie, so that everything will stay in the palette properly. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of powder and this is a dark green. And we're gonna blend that out. Now, what you start with, whether you start dark and go to light or start light and build the dark on top, that's you. You do you. <laughs> I think that should probably be like the title of, maybe I should make that the title of my YouTube channel. You do you, because I say that a lot to you guys. And I'm just swirling the brush and then taking it through like the crease a little bit. I know you can't really see all that ground. Well, let me do it again over here like that. Swirl. Whoa. I actually like the way that looks so far. Hmm. hmm. Maybe Pinterest didn't lie. Just get some of the powder off my brush. Now I'm using the same brush to do this. I'm gonna use a lighter green. And put that all over the rest of the lid. And notice how I'm really only putting it, hey, I tell it where it needs to go. I'm not really putting it over the, well, now I am, obviously, but I'm not really, you know, you can blend it in, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do, I really, okay. So, I work at Ulta now, <laughs> and we get free makeup, because obviously they want you to use their products. So I'm gonna use this, because this is an, a glitter, this is the Ulta glitter top coat. It's just a really super, super glittery, if you can see, eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use that in my corner of my eye right here. Ooh, that is really glittery. I like it. I like it a lot. And then I just blend it out onto the eye a little bit cause it helps then, if you made any boo-boos in here, um, it helps to blend that out. Um, the colors blended out so that it may not be as as dark as you know if you get too dark or whatever in there you can blend it out make it look lighter okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use orange mm-hmm orange and I'm just gonna dab that in the middle of my eyelid. Now, even though I have like 15 lights around me, you can see that my lighting isn't necessarily perfect. I'm working on it. Um, so I'll take pictures and post, cause you, you'll be able, hopefully you'll be able to see the makeup a little bit better. But there, so I just have like, you can kind of see a line of the orange right in the middle. And that's, that's all we're gonna, I lied. That isn't all we're gonna do for the eyes. We'll use powder to line the bottom. 
sorry, I just got a Facebook uh, message. Um, hey, Larissa, and this is just like a, uh, hey Kim, a smudge brush. You can see it's kind of tapered and I like to use it to line my eyes. And I'm not putting a whole lot on the brush at all because it is a really, I mean, it's a really dark green that I'm using. And notice how I'm not going all the way into the corner either. Um, well, I'll do it on this side. What tends to happen when you line all the way into here, do you see how closed off it makes my eye look? Like it, it makes this eye look smaller than this one. Oh, <laughs> without makeup? Well, thank you. gonna get rid of that a little bit and before we do mascara no before we do the press powder the setting powder and everything we'll do mascara quick now I do use an eyelash curler. That's because I like to. Hey, baby. All right. So we're gonna just do. This is just a crappy eyelash curler that I got at Walmart. It was less than three dollars. I just kind of squeeze it a couple of times, hold it, and you can see that it, um, that it curled the lashes. Now I'm going to do, um, Unique's 3D Fiber Lashes today. We're going to play with this. Um, and this is the transplanting gel that you want to do first. use the fibers. The fibers are 100% natural. They're actually made out of green tea. Don't ask me how because I'm not a scientist, but they are. So that's pretty cool. Instead of putting a bunch of weird chemicals all over your your eyes. Like I'm sure I, I don't even want to know what other companies. I know there are other companies that have the fiber mascara. I don't even want to know what's in that, in that. That would scare the crap out of me. Especially if it came from Asia. Okay. So this just has fibers on it. So we're just gonna apply them to our lashes. And you wanna use a little bit of like a light touch because that helps to avoid clumps. Um, now this particular mascara, it's most mascaras, but especially the 3D Fiber Lash, It's buildable, meaning you can achieve a lot of different looks with it. So you could, if you don't want crazy eyelashes, like huge eyelashes, you could definitely, I could stop right there. Cause I mean, you can see they're defined. They look pretty good. At least, well, if you can see them, they look pretty good. At least I think I do. And really what I, <laughs> what I think is what matters most. And that's the same for you. I, you know, some women and some dudes may, might be like, ooh, you wear makeup for dudes and blah, blah. No, I don't. I don't care what anybody thinks I look like. Um, I want to feel good about myself and I like makeup. So that's why I 
use it. Um, that's why I sell it <laughs> in a couple different ways. <laughs> so I'm going in with the transplanting gel again to seal the fibers that I put on there. Right now we're gonna go in again with the fibers. We're gonna do a second coat. And I think on the other eye we'll use a different mascara. Um, just so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, you guys can help me pick which mascara we do too. I have 20. Well, it might be more than 20 now. I don't know. Now, the second coat of the fibers, I like to concentrate mostly on the tips of the lashes. Um, and that's because really the goal now is length. Um, so if you get, it helps to prevent clumps basically. Um, and then the transplanting gel again, cause we want to seal those fibers. Thank you, Ashley. Now there are plenty of, there are almost Unique is pressing for a million presenters. So I think the last time I checked, I know they're over 800,000. I don't know exactly where they are. There's 800,000 of us. I'm pretty sure probably all 800,000 of us probably use the fiber lashes different. It's however you're comfortable doing it, you know, and you want to achieve the look that you like. So... There we go. Pretty cool, right? If I felt like it, we could do more, but this is good enough. All right, so, and they come in a little pouch. Pretty awesome. Jason, go away. <laughs> All right, so you guys can help me pick out what mascara we're gonna do on the other eye, just so we can compare and contrast. And I kinda really wanna use a mascara that I haven't used before. Um, so let me dig down in here. Like I said, I have 20. Okay, so I have this one. It's from a little like indie company called Glamour Dolls. It's called Lash Lights. And then it actually has a mirror on it, which is pretty cool. They sent me this for free um, because they're an amazing company. I absolutely love. Um, they have... Oh, God! Ah. They have a lip jelly made with honey and it it's it says beaches love lip jelly <laughs> a pun but it's a lip conditioner it's amazing you put it on like I use it like two to three times a day um and it stays I put it on a lot as like a conditioner at night and it's still on when I wake up 14 hours later so I really like it. All right, so we have this mascara. It's called Black Magic. It's from Ico. We can use that. This one, I got it in either uh, Birchbox or Ipsy. I don't know which one. So we can do that one. Or another one I would like to try is I have this guy from Makeup Forever that I got in either Ipsy or Birch Birchbox as well. Oh, this guy has like a little brush. That's surprising. Let's see what this, now though this brush I would imagine is pretty big and it is a little big. So, ooh, I made a mess. Um, Which one do we wanna try? Which one? I'm kinda, I kinda wanna try this one. Hey Kelly, I think we're gonna go with the Ico. We're gonna try that one. 
So let me put the rest of my junk away. Ooh, okay, so curl. It'll be interesting to see what this does. Now, during my last live that I did, I was explaining that my eyelashes are really, really weird. And I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but a lot of times after I apply mascara, as it dries, it straightens my lashes out. So it like undoes the curl. Ooh, I got a fiber in my eyebrow. <laughs> Um, so you can see that the fiber lashes really didn't do that. It kept the curl. So now we're going to do this. Now this has like a curved brush. Interesting. Ooh, it's like a really volumizing... Drama and curl, it says. So, it definitely, uh, my lashes are starting to straighten out. I can, I can tell already. So we know it doesn't curl, <laughs> it doesn't curl. Um, we'll let that dry let that dry and then I like to go in with a brush to kind of unclump some stuff um but yeah my eyelashes they're starting to uncurl you guys can probably if I can see it you guys might be able to see it too um so that's a little disappointing but I mean the lashes themselves they definitely add definition um <laughs> they definitely are thicker um it didn't add a lot of length at all. Like, like the, uh, like the five, look at that. Like the fiber lashes did. Yeah, I know I'm weird, but you can see the difference. Holy crap. That's a huge difference. Okay. Now that I got a bunch of weird crap all over me. All right. So now we're gonna use setting powder. Um, touch behold setting powder. Um, this is, it's a loose powder, but unique. I was, okay, so I only ordered this because uh, I, I thought I should have it. <laughs> Not necessarily because I really wanted to use it, um, but I'm glad I did order it. It has like a little plastic thingy in it, and there's like a fabric thing right here. So all, this, the, all the powder doesn't go flying. It helps, it, it's less messy. And I really, I like that about it. So I'm just using a big powder brush and I just swirl it in. And it will help, this helps set your makeup. And then this is also when, if you made any boo-boos with your contour, like if you got it at too dark or whatever, this is when you can kind of help blend all that out. And I'm just gonna, cause I know I got some powder under my eyes. So just use your brush. If you use your brush and you go over it lightly, mm, that usually helps. And then we want to blend into the neck. This also has like a stopper, if you can see, so that if you store this upside down, there isn't a bunch of powder that comes out. Pretty cool, right? Like why didn't these companies think of this forever ago? Cause that's one of the biggest reasons why I didn't use like loose powder stuff. Um, 
because it was too messy because it was crazy but this is amazing I love that this is made like that okay so what I'm going to do now this is my preference I like a little bit more of like a glimmery highlight so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add a little bit more on top of the powder that we used. Um, now this is the cream to powder from Unique. Um, this is in the shade Benevolent. You may not be able to see it, but it's like um, it's like a really, really pale golden tan. Like it's I went well. It's not even tan. It's beige I guess I don't know but it's a really really light color it would work on any any um any skin tone really I'm gonna blend trust me <laughs> Cupid's bow right here and then we want to do it on our cheeks and I'm just using like the, the edge of it to do a thin line. Okay. I'm gonna use blender, beauty blender, to blend it in a little bit more. Now this is a little bit more of the popular highlighting that you see um, uh, all over the place a lot. Um, they tend to do it a little, a little more shimmery. So we're pretty much done. Um, the only other thing that I do, now I use both the setting powder and a setting spray because I have really oily skin. So for me, it helps to keep the makeup on my face. Um, instead of rubbing off uh, I actually when I worked this past Saturday I mean the, the sweat was literally dripping off my face I get hot really really easily and it was really really busy at work um, and I was dabbing my face all day dabbing my eyebrows and my makeup stayed all day long I should have taken like I should have taken pictures but I don't think I did um, but Anyway, so this is, it's just a spray. Yeah, I know I'm weird. So we're gonna spray, let it sit. And I didn't do lips. You guys are supposed to remind me of this stuff. Not really. So I think, We're gonna go crazy with the lips today. We're gonna do something a little crazy. How about purple? Does purple sound good? Yes, purple with green. Brownie, ma brownie, <laughs> Barney makeup. This is NYX Liquid Suede. It's just a liquid lipstick. Um. You can get primer for your lips now. I got this in a subscription. So I'm just gonna use it because I have it. You don't have to. Uh, some people just uh, use like concealer or foundation on their lips. Um, as the primer. Baby. Ooh, baby. So this is just, it looks blue, but it's purple, I promise. <laughs> mm, mm, I'm not a fan of lip liner, so I don't really own any. 
something that I should probably invest in. Okay. So there we go. Um, it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, the green with the purple, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and for me, in my opinion, I think green and purple helps my blue eyes pop. So they're purple especially. Purple is my favorite color, but I also really like to use it for makeup. I have purple blush, lipstick, eyeshadow, purple highlighter. I have purple everything. The purple, it's amazing, isn't it? Hey, Courtney. Um, the purple is, um, it's NYX Liquid Suede. So you can see as it dries, it's becoming more of like a matte. It went on a little shiny, but now it's drying, so it's matte. Um, and this color is, I don't, oh, it's called Sway. Sway. <laughs> yeah, but we're almost done. I think we're done. We did everything. Um, and I really like the liquid suede lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks. Um, very, the, they're great. And then, let's see, Unique's liquid lipsticks are a very similar consistency to NYX. Um, and I definitely like that. And then, we're not going to put this on, but this is just one of them from Unique. Okay. So... I think we're 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 done. <sighs> Thank you, Luann. I want to do something. <laughs> Watching Courtney, you're gonna get in trouble. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. So I really this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I really don't wear it very often. I've been off work since the middle of April, and I just started my new job. Um. Luckily, it's at Ulta, which is like Sephora, so they sell a bunch of makeup and, and skincare and all that good stuff. So I'm definitely, I can go a little crazy. So the purple, I know I love this lipstick. I've had it for a while. I think I actually got it at the Goodwill in Cressona. Um, the Goodwill in Cressona, I get a lot of makeup there actually. Um, whether, I don't know if you know this or not, but Target their stuff that doesn't sell after it's been on clearance so whatever whatever doesn't sell at any place um after a certain period of time even after it's on clearance a lot of places they send it off wherever and who knows what happens to it target donates all that stuff to goodwill and then goodwill sells it so they get a lot they get a little bit of everything at the Goodwill from Target. Um, I've bought shoes, clothes, brand new, brand new. Um, shoes, clothes, pajamas. This, I'm pretty sure this lipstick came from, came from Goodwill. I have a few other like items, makeup items and nail polish and stuff that I got there too. So it's a great place to look. Um, I got an Essie their gel nail polish which they they sell for like $12 a piece. I paid 2.99 for it <laughs> at the Goodwill. So it's pretty amazing. All right. So I think it looks pretty decent. I definitely think that for the lashes um the the fiber lashes definitely definitely did a little more purple hair again I think I'm gonna do like a dark denim blue hair actually all right so these are just sh like eyeshadow shields and the purpose is hopefully you all can see the eyelashes a little bit better um, I hope obviously my eyes are closed so I don't know I'll take pictures. Okay. So, uh, thank you for doing some makeup with me. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see, definitely ask. Um, now tomorrow at 
8, I'll be going live. And that'll be in, um, I'm doing a party for my friend Barb. So we'll be doing that in the group where her party is. Um, if you would want to be in there, we're just going to talk about the unique products, do like some demonstrations and stuff. And, you know, talk about it face not really face to face, but you guys will see my face and that's what, what matters the most. So if you would want to be in there with us, um, just let me know. I can definitely add you to the group. Um, uh, and check out my YouTube channel. Most all my lives I, I upload to my YouTube channel. Um, trying to get to 10,000 views. I think I'm close to 5,000. Smoky eyes. Oh man, smoky eyes is something that I struggle with, honestly. So that's a good one. We'll have to, I'll add that to my list. Um, we'll figure it out together. Cause I generally, I make a mess when I try to do smoky eyes, which is why I actually, these aren't sticking at all. Well, you're not supposed to put them on top of your makeup. That's, that's a problem too. Um, that's why I bought these so that I would make less of a mess. And if you see the way you position them, they actually create like a template too. So we'll play around. We'll do smoky eyes. Maybe we'll do that. What is tomorrow? Wednesday. Maybe we'll do that Thursday night. We'll do the smoky eyes. All right. So I'm going to take some pictures. I will upload them onto Facebook. If you guys have any questions, definitely message me. Um, and it was fun to hang out with you guys. Um, I don't get a lot of social interaction. <laughs> so this is fun. Um, all right. You guys, again, any questions, let me know. If there's anything you want to see, hit me up. Um, and I think that's it. Bye-bye.